One of the more eye-catching stands at Railtex is Siemens' stand, which features a mock-up of their newest train. I asked their managing director of rolling stock, William Wilson, about it. Will, tell us a little bit about what you're standing next to here. Well, the latest platform and I'm standing next to the mock-up here is our Valara Nova. This is our new generation of high-speed trains and it will set the standard moving forwards. Needless to say, we are bidding this for High Speed 2, so I can't say too much about the technicalities of it, but it's also being offered in Thailand and, and wherever we have high speed opportunities. It builds a lot on the Valaro. We're all very familiar here in the UK with Eurostar and the fleet that we delivered a number of years there, which is a great reference for us, as is the whole of the Valaro fleet around Europe and of course in Russia and Turkey as well. What it does do, it builds on um, very lightweight design with a slightly wider car body which of course gives good seating configurations or whatever the customer wants to fit it out with. We have upgraded uh, a lot of the technology so we have very reliable drives which are more power efficient and indeed the whole Valara Novo is going to be about 30% lighter than the traditional Valara as well which gives great life cycle costs across the piece. So it's designed with the customer in mind, it's designed with the operator in mind in order to become what we believe will be a very good high-speed offering for the globe. And, you know, I'm very happy if we can actually introduce it. Uh, it's first in introduction here in the UK, but we'll see what happens. You're planning to build a factory in Ghoul. How is that going? We are. Ghoul is um, our biggest development. We're investing up to about 200 million, um, probably in two phases. The first bit is actually for the manufacturing and the assembly of the deep tube Piccadilly line trains, which we will start manufacturing in East Yorkshire um, from about 2023 onwards. So here we will be bringing the car bodies from our centre of competence in Vienna and we'll be assembling everything else and doing some testing here in the UK. The majority of the units will be sent back to Wildenrath, which is our European and global test centre, uh, where they will have you know, the stress testing put on the units before they come back and go and be delivered to London Underground. Really exciting, we've got uh, 64 acres that we can build on there. It's a great area, it's a little bit depressed at the moment, but superb workforce. We have a sister factory that we built two years ago in Hull, uh, where we have great productivity manufacturing wind blades, which was part of the, why we chose to go to Ghoul. At the Ghoul site, we're also going to be adding um, a lot of our service capability with a multifunctional centre where we can do modifications, crash repairs, um, repainting and so forth. Uh, plus, we will be bringing our, hopefully our dries business uh, where we overhaul dries and gearboxes from Leeds into there so that we become a centre of excellence which is far more than just assembling trains. And we see a foreseeable future for this unit for at least 50 years, so um, it's a long-term uh, dedicated investment from our side. One of the higher profile projects that you're involved in is the Deep Tube Upgrade Programme on the London Underground. Tell us a bit about that. Deep Tube, we've got off to a great start. Uh, Transport for London and ourselves, we are forming a very collaborative team with you know, a very good approach to delivering the project. It's early days at the moment, you know, we are working with TFL and the London Underground to um, come up with the right concepts in terms of design. Anything to do with the tube is iconic, particularly the rolling stock, and there are a lot of discussions about how iconic and how uh, we pick up some of the themes that have been recurrent through every tube delivery and every tube design, uh, but of course it's a modern train at the end of the day. It's open access right the way through, it's air-cooled, um, it has larger doors that are slightly um, easier to access, particularly for disability. Um, they're positioned for, towards the ends of the carriage, which means it's far easier in the flow inside. We have, obviously, seating configuration we need to agree, plus all the traction that goes with it. And of course, it's a digital train as well. So in terms of preventive and maintenance, it's our next generation uh, fully digitally enabled so that we know exactly how everything is performing, we know exactly what's going on inside the carriage, we know how the passengers are performing, whether there are any issues like this, and it's all very closely linked with the control centre but also with the, with the drivers. So um, we're looking forward to delivering those in due course. So we've talked about high-speed trains, we've talked about metro trains, but what about the bit in between regional trains? Well, that is our bread and butter. Um, I think we have around one-third of all the commuter trains here in the UK. We're very proud of our Desira family of, of trains. We've been delivering, uh, well actually it's 30 years this year that we started our first ever order alongside actually CAF, where we delivered the Heathrow Express. It's the first ever order here. 
And in those 30 years, we've built up to an install base of um, over 500 trains every day in service with our flagship fleet, or one of them being the Thameslink um, fleet with 115 trains, of which we're now delivering from this weekend 106 in service every day. It's a tough business delivering trains. We do everything from the heavy exams and the heavy maintenance right the way through to the cleaning. Uh, it's, uh, you know, four o'clock in the morning is probably the busiest time of our working day, making sure everything goes out. And we do manage to do it on a consistent basis. Occasionally, I must admit, we get the odd hiccup. Things do go wrong, uh, but we work so close with our customers and um, I'm very proud that, you know, we are doing what we do. And it can only get better. We work and strive um, to gain productivity, to, to you know, get better reliability availability at all times. But it's, it's a tough thing delivering so many trains on a daily basis, as you can imagine. William, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you.